Hello, my name is Pierre Lay and I've got two passions in life, music and food. Last time we spoke about Robert Johnson. This time we're going to talk about Muddy Water, Chicago blues legend. Welcome back into Come Into My Kitchen. McKinley Morganfield, or Muddy Waters, was born in Mississippi officially in 1915. Soon after his birth, his mother died, and he was raised by his grandmother, Della Grant. He later moved to Chicago in 1943 to become the father of Chicago blues. The recipe I want to do today is inspired by our grandmother's recipe. So it's a casserole. It's a chicken and rice casserole, typical of Louisiana and Mississippi. And while our casserole is cooking away in the oven, I'll be showing you how to make a breakfast chair, a typical breakfast drink that was served to gentlemen in cotton plantations in southern United States. So let's get cooking. I'll start by chopping up some onions. Yellow pepper. green pepper and some celery. You know, I like to put the green part in it. Now, I need to heat up some oil in an oven-proof casserole. This one is quite peculiar. It's made of stone. You can put your vegetables in even if the oil is not boiling hot because they need to get tender and they'll have plenty of time to cook in the oven. In the meanwhile, you need to cut up your meat. Here I've got chicken, but you can use pork chops, uh, you can use beef, any other kind of meat you want. You put it in a dish and you season it well with salt, pepper, red pepper sauce. Be generous. Mix it with your hands. You want direct contact with the sole of your food. Okay, when it's ready, you fry it. It needs to be caramelized in the bottom. Spread on you. As your vegetables are getting soft, add some canned tomatoes. Not too much. Ah, uh, that's really nice. And now you season it. Salt, pepper, and Tabasco sauce. So make sure you get some spice in here, your pepper, and your salt. Now is the time to add your rice. I use parboiled. You stir it in well, really nice. You cover it with broth. And this is my personal touch. Add some saffron. It will add that mysterious, delicious flavor. What you want to do now is to place your meat on top of your rice. You have to be very careful because you won't be stirring your rice anymore from this moment onwards. Sprinkle your spring onion on top, and now for the finishing touch. Chopped up basil and parsley. Look at those marvellous colours. Isn't that beautiful? I can just imagine Muddy Water's grandmother preparing that kind of dish. What you want to do now is cover it and put it in the oven. You must let it sit in there for at least 20 minutes or until the rice is completely done and it has absorbed all the broth. 
While our chicken casserole is cooking away, I'd like to show you a very simple cocktail. It's called the morning cheer, or the breakfast cheer. It used to be served in the morning in plantations. Well, only gentlemen could enjoy this cocktail. It's champagne based but deliciously flavoured with fruit. Typically, one would use Bartlett pears. I know, Muddy Waters probably uh, never enjoyed this kind of luxury, but it shows another side of the same coin, Southern United States, Mississippi and Louisiana, and the reality of plantations, but I can guarantee you this is very enjoyable. And now for the orange juice. And a final blend. A slice of orange to decorate the glasses with. Now use your own proportions and uh, experiment with it. And the final touch. Now for our chicken casserole. This has been sitting in the oven for 20 minutes, actually 25, and the rice should have absorbed all the water. If you want it a bit more juicy, just add more stock. Let's see. Absolutely great. That's exactly how it should look. So that's it for our Muddy Water special episode. We've explored the two sides of Mississippi culture. The poor side with grandmother's rice and chicken casserole and the gentleman's cocktail served at breakfast in plantations. Stay tuned and see you next time on Come Into My Kitchen.